Gotta keep moving the boxes. Okay, sorry. Let's play Peter's House. Hello and welcome to Hula No Play Short in Your Horror Game. Today I'm going to play a game by Gzk. G Z K A E. How would you how would you pronounce it? Gzk. Um Anyways, uh, this is a very short game where you just move boxes. Enter the dark and ominous world of Peter's house where you play as Steve. What? <laughs> I'm not even playing as Peter? Uh, a man hired to move boxes for the new owner. As you explore the house, you quickly realize that something isn't right. Be aware of your surroundings. I will not. I'm always bumping into things, so, well, I'm probably not. Also, I hope my face now looks not as blurry as in my previous videos. Um, I'm still working out the setup, the new one. I love it. Isn't it always great? You move everything. It's like Word, isn't it? Like you move the layout just a little bit and then suddenly everything's gone. All the finicky little details you worked out so you kind of look not like shit. Everything's gone. You have to start again. Oh well. Not your problem. <laughs> Alright, let's get Peter's house uh, moved in. Steve, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi Steve, this is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight so the door will be unlocked. That's not Peter. No. <laughs> okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. No contract. Steve, that's not... How How will you make... You didn't even tell him how much it costs. There's no contractual obligation here on either side. You too. Thanks again. Oh, well. Time to move some boxes. Uh, left mouse button interact. And right... Release. This one says that it must go to the baby's bedroom. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So we got different rooms. That's closed. That's also closed. Well, it's not much. Okay. Oh. So that doesn't look like the baby's bedroom. It's also closed. Well, it's not the right place for the... Yeah, I know, but... Oh, there, I can open. I will, let's just open everything. Could that be the ba- No, that's the kitchen. Why did that door open while I had the box in my hands, but the others didn't? Okay, that's the God-fearing bedroom. That's, I guess, the living room. That's such a huge house. <laughs> Oh, the TV went on. Yeah. Not... Not at my watch. Not during my watch? Oh, well, whatever. So this is the dining room. Okay. Alright. Man, that's a lot of boxes. And I'm very slow. Guess I'm just taking my time. Blop. Gotta keep moving boxes. Yeah, I know. I know, Steve. Although, do you? There's no contract. So... This one says it must go to the kitchen. What's the kitchen? I should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Alright. Oh, I wanted to see what's in the fridge. I would take a look. I would take a little peek. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it? Uh, is that blood on the knife? Press S to close the box. Well, I'm very unhappy that I that I opened this. <laughs> I hear someone walking. Oh well. This one says it must go to the God-fearing bedroom. There you go. What about this one? Kitchen. I'm not very... I should sort them in the... Actually, I would sort them in the corridor and then just move them a bit more efficiently. 
I mean, this will take me ages the way I'm working right now. I don't even have like, you know, those little wheelies, you know, where you can put it on, where you can stack the boxes. So I guess this explains why we don't have a contract because we're not really ill. There's a toilet, but there's no washing sink. I know there's some hotels that have that and it's, you know, mm, not a fan. Gotta keep moving boxes. <laughs> you know, that sentence all the time also sounds like Steve also has some, some issues. This one says it must go to the bathroom. Okay. I mean, the bathroom is so small. What, what would you put in here? Gotta keep moving boxes. Also, d didn't it say that I will explore more the more I do this? I didn't find anything out here. Except like the bloody knife. This is not the right place for the box. Wait, where is the... Oh, the dining room. Sorry. I was distracted. By wanting to look what's on the outside. Gotta keep moving the boxes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> This doesn't want... Oh, this one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. Yeah, let's do this. There's a journal inside and some glasses. Well, in the others, there was also a journal. Oh, the snoop part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions. So I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon. But she was buying it. I'm not reading this in, in Peter's voice, but I guess it's Peter. February 14th of this year. <gasps> no. The snoop part two. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses fell, flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the light, life out of her. It was a small victory. Peter. No. Uh, put it, wait, put it there. And then let's put this so we can also... Oh, man, the betrayal of a friend. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. You couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When I asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. What? He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. But I knew I couldn't take any chances. The betrayal of a friend part two. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his bag. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumbling to the floor. Man, lots of crumbling here. I thought nothing as I watched him bled out. bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Damn, Peter. Just, what the heck is wrong with you? I think I will just leave this here. Shouldn't you? Wait, where's the other one? Didn't I? Where did the other one go? It's gone. Oh, I put it in the exact same place. Can I just leave? Come on, let's go. Let's leave. One or more boxes may be in the wrong room. I can't leave yet. I need to move those boxes first. Then you're in the house of a serial murderer. Just, and you don't have a contract, so you can just leave. Oh, well. Steve, what's what's wrong with you? Uh, bedroom, God fearing bedroom. Let's see. No, that's the baby's room. Oh, that's there, right? Bem 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 bem. Must go to the kitchen. All right. Also doing this on my own, I would, I don't, I don't think I would do that. In a strange house and everything. Also for health, like safety reasons, it's probably best if you have just a moving body. Uh, was that the dining room? It didn't. Blub. Two more. Bebe's bedroom. Does that baby exist? I mean, that woman is dead. All that work made me thirsty. I should go get something to drink before I leave. 
Now let's first look into this suspicious packet. Yeah, shit. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me after all I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? That doesn't make it better, Peter, to say... Well, I didn't just kill the dog, I killed a lot of other animals. You know, that's kind of what you call making it worse. But she couldn't handle it this time. This time? So before she was like, oh well, another dead pigeon. What are you gonna do? Peter is not a cat, okay? She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Ew. Uh, let's just go. Don't... Why? You don't need to drink stuff. I'm really thirsty. Steve. Just... You can buy something at the police station. They probably have a like a, a, a machine or something. Hmm, I bet he won't mind if I take some of his juice. Time to go. You will die, Steve. And honestly... Not saying it's your fault. Oh, shit. This door is locked. Shit! This door is locked. Oh, no! This door is locked. This door is locked. Oh, God. open just now oh the door wait oh no psychological am i peter <sighs> don't don't do don't pt me no come on we were having so much fun with this ribbing on steve for his lack of business acumen you know making fun of the bad writing of the serial murderer. And now this? Ugh. I don't remember. Shit, the light's out. I hope my phone's battery didn't die. Come on, come on, come on. There, I can at least see where I'm heading now. Where's the... Where would the phone be? I don't know. have a phone there wasn't a phone in the flat right hmm. all right all oh, the typical who hasn't you know all that nothing good comes out of these rooms hello what do you want from me your job was to just move the damn boxes not to open them Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, so you have, like, a supernatural house. Oh! Hey! That wasn't in the contract we didn't ever set up. <laughs> Wait, are there several endings? Can I just ignore the boxes? Let's just do that for... By rating five stars. Well, we'll see about that. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm moving. Yes, indeed. The boxes. Just you and me. No. <laughs> I'm moving. The boxes here for free. Uh -huh. I didn't set up a contract. <laughs> so Peter will probably not pay. <laughs> and legally, it isn't every situation. It would be so funny if, if you don't look into the boxes. You just leave and nothing happens and it's just a very uneventful box moving game. That would be so cheeky and like, I don't know if everyone would appreciate it, but I would because it's kind of funny. I'm doing such a horrendous job. 
Like, I wouldn't pay for this. Just randomly leaving the boxes there. That's no help. That doesn't help at all. Gotta keep moving boxes. But, 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 oh, I have to. Okay. Oh, man, that would have been so funny. I would have... I would have enjoyed it greatly if we w never would have looked into that. Just to, I mean, just imagine. That would be hilarious. Well, maybe because I'm tired. <laughs> that would be hilarious to me, okay? Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I thought this was kind of cute. Um, I actually would have thought it would be scarier to not have the weird corridors and everything. And the weird, because I don't really... I don't think it needs it and it veers on these bad psychological it wasn't really because peter was real and he actually did it and he was somehow supernatural and he has powers but i think because it wasn't established in the writing before like that would have been then made you know it would have made sense if in the letters in the three letters we found he would have mentioned something that he actually has powers to move rooms or whatever but even then I don't know, I think it's creepier this moment when suddenly the bathroom door is closed, you know. Um, and then you go and all the other doors are closed. I actually would have started just closing the bathroom door and then, you know, bit by bit, even while you're moving, you, that could have happened, you know, that suddenly uh, you can't open a door anymore or something like that. Like, as soon as all the boxes are in, then you return... But it's sometimes, you know, that just random doors close or something. That it's not just all the doors. And then from some room he emerges. Uh, the one door that stays open. Uh, you open it. And that's what I expected. And I guess because it was too expected, the developer probably didn't want to have that, you know, to be... To have it like that, that everyone knows what will happen. So he, he did the whole... Or they did the whole uh, corridor thing. But I don't know... The PT corridor is just so... It is worse than knowing what will happen, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, and the story itself, I mean... I'm not the biggest fan of serial murder stories, but that was so ridiculous that it was kind of, you know... Like, it, it, it wasn't... It was too ridiculous. So it was kind of more on the dark, humorous side than anything else. Um, and yeah, I like the idea of being alone. And then with the, ba the, I think the bathroom door idea, that was really cool. That was the one thing, you know. Um, and then the ending, yeah, I think, I think I would have liked it if we would have stayed in the normal house and then had that ending, you know. I told you to just move the boxes. Uh, but all in all, th th nevertheless, though, I really enjoyed this. I think the gameplay is cool. The idea is really cool. The environment is cool. So all in all, it was a really cool game. I will follow the developer just to see what they come up with next or what they've already come up with. I don't know if they already developed some other games. It looks, it looks polished enough that I think this is not the first game by the developer. Um, what did you think? How did you like it? Do you agree with me regarding the ending or do you prefer this PT ending? Uh, also, I guess Peter did have powers. What's your opinion on that? Also, what do you think about Steve's contract? Like, is, I know, I know contracts can be made just verbally, um, but I still doubt that this is how you do it without even naming the price. Does that work in America? Because in Germany, it wouldn't. It wouldn't absolutely at all work. So let's talk law in the comments. <laughs> also, if you're new to this channel, you know, I play a lot of any horror games and I talk a lot. So if you enjoy that, you can subscribe. And I promise you, if I ask you to move my stuff, you know, first of all, I will make sure that we have a proper contract. So everyone's like on the safe side, you know, we all know, we all know what everyone has to do. And then also, you know what? I actually think Peter wanted to kill Steve because he could have just written like, oh, oh, what a coincidence, you know, that the three, that the three boxes with the incriminating evidence, you know, that they were not marked. Come on, Peter. Come on, Peter. You lured Steve into this situation. But I wouldn't, you know, I would mark all the boxes or I would be there to actually tell you, oh, yeah, this box goes into the bathroom. And then if you still accidentally open it and found my murder diary, I would be like, huh, what? No, I'm a writer. That's my creative writing. I'm writing a crime novel. So off you go. Bye. Here's, here's a tip. Here's a huge tip. 
bye. That, that's what I would do. So subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you next time. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.